What's up, Space Monkeys? Welcome to Political Fight Club. I'm doing the second episode of the day, and uh, I'm going to be running over Elizabeth Warren. So um, I'm going to start off with something good that she's doing, and then I'm going to tell you why it's complete bullshit and why it makes my blood boil. Okay, so Elizabeth Warren has now introduced a bill that will implement her wealth tax. Now, her wealth tax, she ran on something similar to Bernie, but it was it had no teeth compared to Bernie. And what her wealth tax is, is that on wealth, combined wealth of $50 million, so $25 million per person, so $50 million per household, will be taxed at 2% on the money above that $50 million. Now, you know, it's a you know, decent idea, of course. It's two pennies on the dollar on every dollar you have as a, you know, household that is above $50 million. So that makes sense. But if you remember correctly, Bernie's was far better than this. It was a stratified wealth tax that started to tax more depending on how high the household wealth was. And it was something like, you know, Bernie had something like an 8% tax on billionaires and then a 7% tax on everybody above 100 million. And a, you know, it was like a 3 or 4% tax on every, everybody that was above 50 million. And he had a 2% tax on anything that was above 30 million. 32 million, I think is what it was. 32, 5, 32 million, something like that. Um, so his was far better. It came up with far more money. And it's, again, stratified in a way that taxes the extremely wealthy a little bit more, but still not too much. So why am I frustrated at this? I'll tell you why. Because this is what Elizabeth the Snake Warren does every single time. If you remember correctly, Bernie and she were the only two people that had a wealth tax. And she would have won Bernie the election by simply endorsing him and dropping out earlier than she did. She stayed in when she had no chance to win through Super Tuesday, if you guys remember correctly. She had no chance. But what does she do? She stays in just long enough to siphon off some of those last progressive votes in her own state and, you know, up in the Northeast where she's well known and makes it so that Joe Biden wins a whole bunch of states in the Northeast where he was down in the polls by 15 percent. Um, same thing goes for something like Minnesota. If Elizabeth Warren drops out when she is out of the race, statistically, Bernie's probably the president of the United States right now. And that's why this is frustrating, because she does this every time. She will kneecap Bernie and then go out there and be like, well, I want a wealth tax. I think this will be good for progress. When you just killed the only president that could have ever passed the bill that you're putting out right now. So you're, that's why you get called a snake, because you obviously don't believe in this wealth tax. If you did believe in this wealth tax, you would have dropped out and endorse the guy that was running to the left of you that had a great wealth tax. But you don't do that, ever. All you do is stab people in the back that are more to the left of you, and that are more popular than you, that have a chance to get something done. And then when they die, you act like you had nothing to do with it, and then you want to act progressive. And then you'll go, oh, it's, oh, shucks. We couldn't get my wealth tax passed. Well, you knew damn well you weren't going to be able to pass that wealth tax under Biden, and yet you... Kneecap Bernie anyway, so get fucked. <laughs> I hate Elizabeth Warren with a burning passion. I mean, she it recently admitted that all that shit about her saying behind closed doors that Bernie was a misogynist because he said that a woman couldn't be president directly to her. She walked that back like a month and a half ago, and no one said anything about it. It's like, that literally was one of the biggest, you know, things that took away from Bernie and you also, it was just a bold-faced lie. And there's no repercussions for you. She got her Joe Biden in there. So she has her scapegoat. So she can go, well, look at how progressive I'm being. I'm putting out a wealth tax bill. Look at how progressive. I'm like Bernie. Even though I just stabbed Bernie between the ribs and turned the knife and killed his campaign by staying in too long and, you know, trying to smear him as a misogynist. And then she fakes progressivism. This is why everyone hates her. And she should never be taken seriously by anyone. And the funniest thing about Elizabeth Warren is that when you play between, you want to play somewhere between lefties 
who are humanists, empathetic, and actually are policy, policy driven, and the neolibs who are mo more or less just Republican light with a little bit better on the culture issues. When you try to play right in the middle there, you get end up getting rejected by both of them because over here they worship at the altar of capitalism and apathy and basically business as usual status quo that gets thousands of people dead and bankrupt and lives ruined in this country and then the people that worship at the altar of humanism and empathy and who want everybody to have something like you know clean water food a uh, house or not a house but a roof over their head electricity things that want the bare necessities for humans to live on this side and when you put yourself smack dab in the middle there what ends up happening is that these people hate you because you do this shit and then these people hate you because they go well you don't you don't seem to be quite on board with our worship of the the almighty dollar so we don't like you either and you end up being ineffectual so that's Elizabeth Warren. That's her career in a nutshell. She has absolutely zero political instincts. In fact, I think that she probably just, you know, kind of rolls with the punches and she sounds a lot smarter than she actually is. Um, although I do believe she knew what she was doing when she stayed in to kneecap Bernie. And a lot of this stuff, possibly she's just, you know, feigning progressivism because she can, because of the person that she put in office. It gives her a scapegoat. So... Elizabeth Warren, um, you absolutely are a snake, and stop acting like you're not, and you're all insulted. You absolutely earned that name. So stop acting like snake if you don't want to be called snake.